Oh, hello. Didn't hear you come in, but while you're here. Well, it's already starting to warm up down here in the high desert, Snake River Plain. When the weather gets warm, there's two things I start kicking up my consumption of. Reggae and tequila. Tequila. For the reggae, I might suggest a sampling of Toots and the Maytals, Funky Kingston. This one will get your noggin bobbing like you're riding a toboggan. That's a good thing. For tequila, well, I take my tequila a few different ways, but I'd say my preferred is margarita. Right, this is a simple drink. And if you already have your margarita recipe dialed, well, hey, should hang out, share some goofballs and funny bones while I make a drink, huh? Or maybe you think margarita is the expressway to Hangover City. And if that's your perception, well, maybe you're on the same expressway as me, which was two for one slusheritas at Cafe Ole Wednesday nights. That is until I took a trip to a scary bar in Tecate, Mexico. Looked like it belonged in a Tarantino movie. And there I had a margarita that changed my entire mental schema of what a margarita could be. And I've been chasing that margarita dragon ever since. And I haven't gotten there yet, but, you know, I've gotten pretty close. And that's what it's all about, folks. The process, right? And let's get that process started. First thing you're going to need is a glass. Something that seals mason jar, pickle jar, actual shaker, something along those lines, right? Next thing we're gonna want, some ice. Now, any old ice will do. Rigor two, please, three, four, depends on the season. This thing, we bought to keep bottles of breast milk on deck in the fridge. We don't use it for that anymore because I realized I'm lactose intolerant. Next thing we're gonna need is a little bit of hardware. There it is. Shot glass for measuring. Uh, let's move on to our tequila. Tequila. Can't find a decent tequila that fits in my booze caddy and you are gonna want a decent tequila because tequila is actually made from poison. Yeah, the agave plant is actually poisonous. And like many poisons, uh, the higher the quality, the concentrations uh, are going to affect how it affects you. So um, you're gonna want some pretty decent poison, right? This one right here, Mikampo, not bad poison. Middle shelf poison, uh, running about 22 bucks on sale for 20 right now. But uh, you want to know a secret? I actually <laughs> refill this guy from time to time with this one coming right now. This uh, same shelf, this is the cheapest large bottle I can find that I like and that likes me. Um, this, okay poison. Okay poison. <laughs> cool name. Anyway, make a damn drink already, Mark. I'm gonna start off with two shots, because we don't got all night. Next, we're gonna wanna move to our sweetener. There it is. This is in a triple sec bottle. I actually bought this triple sec at Winco. It wasn't cheap, used it all. But now I just refill it with my own simple syrup. Simple syrup on my baby food or bread is actually really simple. It's just a cup of water, get it boiling, cup of sugar, whisk it till it's dissolved. Boom, simple syrup. Where do I keep putting it in here? I've just really dialed in my portions from this little squeeze bottle. You see, I just give it the old four to six splish splash splooshes, right? Splish, splash, sploosh. Sploosh. What is that? 
Next up, you're going to want to, um, let's see if I can do this. Ah! A line. You're going to want to cut this in half. I prefer to use a knife. You can use whatever you want. Now you're going to want to juice this thing into your drink. You could use your hands, especially if you got the old G.I. Joe Kung Fu grip and running chainsaw all summer. I use one of these silly little tchotchke things. Yeah, thought it was the goofiest thing in the world, and now I love it. And it's kind of fun. Lastly, and here's the special part, this is where you're going to want your lid. <sighs> mason jar or anything, you don't even need a little screw top for the mason jar, but what I like to do is give the margarita a good shaking. See, I really think the margarita's got to be shaking great. It really infuses all the flavors in the liquid, into the gas bubbles, the whole thing. Give it a nice frothy bill, and it gets it real full. I love doing that. It's so fun. Now, you could. Drink your margarita straight out of your mason jar, or you could bust out your trusty old camp mug, right? This thing, real nice on a hot summer day. Get your camp mug lid on there, seal it up, throw an extra ice cube or two in there. This thing's staying cold all day. Mmm. Decent. Good enough. Good enough good enough for tonight. I have limes to pick up. Maybe a new lime juicer to purchase. <laughs>